Hello friends. Today I'm going to be doing the drill mod on my clutch master cylinder, the hose line. Inside there's a little barrier that I'm going to be drilling out. And you can see as soon as I get that drill bit in there, it stops right there. So there's a little wall inside, a little barrier that I'm going to be drilling out. And then I'm going to have to flush out all the shavings. Uh, this way if more fluid will get to the slave cylinder to depress the clutch easier. And with the clutch master cylinder that I have in there now, the Tick Performance, uh, if anybody has seen my videos of me putting that car together with all the performance parts, rebuilding that motor, uh, I talked about briefly how it was leaking, and it's leaking on my floorboard, which is a problem because brake fluid, or yeah, brake fluid is very corrosive, and I'm just gonna switch it out. I'm gonna send back the other one and get a new one, and then just maybe sell that one since I don't have any faith in the Tick Performance. I'm mean, not saying that it might not work for other people, but it's just not for me. So I'm going to be drilling this out. When you do that, you want to make sure this hose is nice and straight. And you want to put something around the vice grips. You want to hold it with vice grips so it's nice and steady. I know i got to tighten this up a little bit. It's still loose. So that way it doesn't wiggle. And then you accidentally puncture the side of the hose because then it's just worthless. And then you got to go get yourself another hose. Okay, I went ahead and drilled that out. Just uh, slid it right in there, but make sure when you do it, you keep that hose straight. So I just held this held as straight as possible while inserting the drill bit into that hole. And you can see where that straw is. That's exactly where it stopped before I did the drill mod here. So it was only that deep, and that's exactly where it stopped. Now you can see with it drilled out, there's nothing stopping it. That straw would end up going all the way in. So now more fluid will be able to get to that slave cylinder to depress it a little better. So when you do this, make sure don't accidentally have the hose bent, crimped, keep it straight as possible so you're not poking out the sides and ruining the hose. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm either gonna take an air tool and jam it down in there and blow out all the shavings from the end of the hose there that uh, from when you drill it, of course, there'll be shavings inside, little pieces of metal, and you don't want that flowing through your slave cylinder inside your transmission. So that piece right there on the end of this hose that connects into the slave cylinder, it pushes down. So what you can do is push that down using the tool or whatnot, and then you can actually pour brake fluid in there and let it come out the other side and just let the uh, shavings flow out. Or just use an air tool, which I might just use compressed air with that tool right there and just blow through. All right, even though I have a GM, this Ford, Ford uh, clutch disconnect tool here actually works to take out the clutch master cylinder from the slave cylinder. And the one that I had in there, man, it was a pain in the butt to take out. You ended up bending this, uh, the forks there. Had to pry it in the concrete, bend it back straight. Had to use a fork, uh, long uh, screwdriver for leverage. And there's the hose there hanging down. And it comes right out of that fitting right there. I had a hell of a time getting that out, but I'm glad it's out and I can put in my new clutch master cylinder that I just drill modded as you saw. Uh, yeah, and I use the air compressor to blow it all out. The uh, shavings that were inside that hose. So, I had this little nozzle here. I jammed it down into there. That pushes down. And I just blew it all out. Took a paper towel, wrapped it around there so nothing would fly back at me. And it just came shooting out the end. Now I got it all connected back in. So this is what I'm going to be putting back in the car. All right, still remember. I have a GM, but this is a Ford clutch disconnect tool for the hydraulic line that goes into the slave cylinder from the master cylinder, clutch master cylinder. And this right here proves that GM and Ford can be friends. No haters. Got the Tick Performance Clutch Master Cylinder out. You see all right there. It's just a bunch of fluid. It's just, it's been leaking. It's, it's disgusting. It's uh, leaking inside my car. So I'm gonna switch everything. I'm gonna switch the reservoir over to this one and then just bleed it out. Uh, I'm gonna bench bleed it and then get this one reinstalled. It was a bastard to get out, but hopefully this one's easier because it's not as blocky as that one is. A little more thinner. 
And then I got, I'm glad I kept the hardware from the original Clutchmaster cylinder that was in there because that one crashed. What I'm doing here is bench bleeding it. So I got the clutch master cylinder tied up to the reservoir hose with the reservoir. And um, what I'm doing is I've just been jamming the rod here up against my shelving unit just to push it in. And every time I do, well, up to the point where it's gotten tight now, uh, there's usually a lot of, see that like just shaking it a little bit. The bubbles that'll come up through the hose. So you want to bleed all the air out of the system. And that's what you're gonna do before reinstalling it. Make sure it's nice and tight. Check everything, make sure nothing leaks, especially around where the hose fittings go into. And just make sure nothing's leaking out of here, right here as well, which this is the part that goes in the slave cylinder inside the transmission. So this is just what they call bench bleeding before installing it. And that's the clutch mass cylinder that I'm using. It's a metal one, the one that comes from factory. They're made out of a plastic housing. So this is a sturdier metal and I'm just uh, hoping this one works better. Okay, so you gotta feed the clutch master cylinder through the hole in the firewall under the brake booster. This is not fun. Um, and then you gotta get this brake fluid reservoir here around and clamp down right here under and through the brake booster reservoir for that brake fluid. So be careful when you do this. There it is. $332 I paid for that thing to leak all over my floorboard and it was stiff as heck. It was hurting my kneecap and it's out and I'm sending it back. So it's under warranty. Like I said, I don't know if they'll give me a refund or not, but if they send me a new one, I'll take it and just sell it and hope, you know, that one doesn't mess up for someone else. You've caused me enough trouble. Just here, uh, working on the marrow a little bit, tightening up some clamps with the exhaust, had a little exhaust leak and these birds show up, gave them a little bit of water, fed them some crackers, they seem real peaceful, check them out.